How are you? I'm, uh, I'm really excellent. That's and good. I love my planet, you know. Neat, neat, neat planet we good, live on so right here. And I've gathered together some materials that uh, are not necessarily environmentally friendly uh -huh. and uh, some demonstrations on what the Earth is doing. You know, it, it's, uh, it's interesting to me how we're discovering the Earth again. You know, in the 1400s, we discovered what the Earth looked like, that mm -hmm. it was round, that there were continents and oceans. Now we're discovering how the Earth works and that there's, there are elements of it that can change. Mm -hmm. And mainly it's the atmosphere and the oceans and the land. Right? And people, you hear about things like the greenhouse effect. Yeah, that's right. That's, well, that's, that's changing the chemistry of our atmosphere. You have and a demonstration for us? I have a, a demo here? here that's been going on for a while. There are two thermometers that are exactly the same. One thermometer is just sitting outside showing us the air temperature, and the other one's underneath a glass bowl. Mm -hmm. uh, if you try this in the summertime under the sun, this works very well. Just put uh, a thermometer out in the grass. If we compare the temperatures of these two thermometers, you'll notice that the one that was underneath the glass is several degrees higher than the one that was not. Hmm. And that's because the glass has trapped heat. There's a misconception that the sun heats the earth directly, mm -hmm. but actually it doesn't. Uh, the sun doesn't heat the air. The sun shines through the air in the same way that light shines through this glass. And it heats the ground. It's the ground that gets hot and gives off heat. So there's and a greenhouse around the earth. The, the greenhouse gas, carbon dioxide, is what acts like the glass here. That heat that comes up from the light after being absorbed is kept in there. Mm -hmm. Well, the more carbon dioxide we put into the atmosphere, mainly by burning fossil fuels, uh, gasoline, natural gas, things like that, mm -hmm. we're thickening the glass. And so that can cause the earth to heat up and, and cause heat waves and desertification, that other nasty thing. Mm -hmm. Now, the ozone layer is uh, very much like sunscreen. And I have some uh, sunscreens here. When you go out at the beginning of the summer, or if you go on a tropical vacation and you have pale skin like you, you mm -hmm. probably like to put on sunscreen, otherwise you get burned. Yeah. What burns you is ultraviolet light from the sun. That is very deadly radiation. Well, the Earth has a natural sunscreen called the ozone layer. And ozone is a gas that's in our upper atmosphere. Uh -huh. And it protects us in the same way that a sunscreen does. And right now, it, uh, it's about a 15. Well, you've probably heard that down in the Antarctic, there's a hole in our ozone layer. Mm -hmm. And it's caused by chemicals that we put in there called chlorofluorocarbons. So in the Antarctic, we're actually down now to about, oh, say, an eight. So we've lost really? more than half. Now, that's <laughs> a problem, because if we lose our sunscreen, then we will start to get sunburned. Yes, everybody will not only get more sunburns, but we'll get skin cancer and things like that, because ultraviolet light, as I say, is dangerous. The third thing is the garbage. We've got this wonderful stuff called plastic. It's a great invention. Uh, it does all these things. You can mold it into all these shapes. You can melt it down and use it again, mm -hmm. but we don't. So there's That's a lot right. we need to do right now to fix this stuff. 